Hello everyone, Beat here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be styling Birkenstocks. I'm going to show you exactly how I wear mine and how I would recommend wearing yours. Of course, you don't have to follow these guidelines. You can style them in whichever way you'd like. But without further ado, let's get going. I've had my Birkenstocks for a couple of months now, and I believe it's the Arizona. I'll pop a picture in screen of what the box description was. So I'm gonna share some of the outfits that I've created, but also pop in a few pictures of extra inspiration um, to myself and to you, of course. I realized that the outfits that I created had a lot of contrast in them mixing hard with soft, feminine with masculine, relaxed with formal, ending up with a really juxtaposed type of style and outfits. I think the reason for that is um, the Birkenstock is obviously a very relaxed look, but my look, as I've mentioned, is a bit more formal and I really liked how that played off with one another. The first way that I liked to style this is with a skirt or a dress. Mine is now on the longer side, but I definitely think you can go shorter. I love the movement of the skirts and the femininity that it adds um, to the chunkier, um, relaxed look of the Birkenstock. And it paired so beautifully well to me. I think that a feminine top with the skirt could even look beautiful um, with the Birkenstocks. I just added a plain black t-shirt. I'm not sure if I'll wear this blue dress, but I thought it was so cool. I love the complete oversized tent look of this dress with the Birkenstocks. Um, and she just looked so effortless and relaxed. Even though my skirt is obviously bringing in some femininity with the movement um, and the shape shape of the skirt and the fact that it's just a skirt um, but I think you can even have it in a more feminine um, type of way by adding a more girly girl type of dress with the puff sleeves for example or having a lacy white type of um, dress you can have a bit of a bohemian look with that I think that could look very very cool I think a skirt um, made out of something such as silk um, is also really beautiful and can add to the softness of that look. Any type of skirt I think is beautiful with this. I would still recommend um, not going too structured in the skirt and rather having it nice and flowy and um, a bit more feminine. I think it will pair better that way. This very short skirt that she's wearing is obviously a bit more on the tailored side, I would say, um, as well as the shirt that she's wearing. But the fact that the shirt is completely oversized makes it seem as though it's really not a shirt um, that's traditionally worn um, in an office type of setting, as well as the short skirt as well. Um, and I think that kind of plays um, very well against the shoes that she's wearing. Birkenstocks paired with the dad pants or the more formal type of trouser, something even with pleats in front, um, something with, again, a bit more volume, even um, a Pilato pants, I think it is just freaking beautiful and there are so many options available at the moment um, in similar pants to these ones that I'm wearing um, as well as the ones that I'll pop on, on screen. I think that looks incredibly good. It's probably the tailored side of me that is really um, leaning towards this type of style. Um, but I really enjoy the fact that most of these trousers are also cinched in at the waist. So you really create, again, that, um, that sense of opposites with the more bulkier type of shoe, but still having some um, form of formality. I'll probably avoid adding too much volume um, on top while I'm wearing an oversized um, trouser with the heavier type of shoe. I think just having that balanced a bit more um, will create a more beautiful, um, stylish and classic type of silhouette. Of course, if the look isn't supposed to be classic that day, um, go for it and be um, and have an oversized top or add a big blazer or coat with it. Um, I think it's also um, lovely to see people a bit more relaxed in their um, clothing that they've been wearing throughout 2020. Wearing your favorite sweatsuit with your Birkenstocks is definitely an option, but if you want to look a bit more put together that day, I would go um, in with a bit more effort, maybe doing a bit of makeup, even if it's natural makeup, just adding a bit of bronzer, maybe a nice um, rosy cheek and blowing out your hair, or at least having this part 
um, seem like you've done a bit of effort because the tracksuits as well as the Birkenstocks will have a more relaxed type of feel. And I think she hit the nail on the head. A simple option, of course, is wearing it with a jean and a t-shirt. Um, and I wanted to do that, but I thought it's maybe a bit too plain and I just added a blazer. I felt like that added a bit more sophistication to the look and playing into that rule of opposites that I was talking about earlier. Um, of course, you can wear it with a jean and t-shirt as well and go for the relaxed look. And some of the pictures that I'll pop on screen are also different ways of how someone styled the very simple Birkenstock with their favorite pair of denim. On a warm summer's day, I will recommend wearing a short with it. I have this denim short and I think um, it creates again a very laid back, beautiful look. But I would go and I am really thinking of probably making a pair of linen um, shorts. Maybe even a longer short than the traditional um, length of where a short ends. And having it um, probably halfway between structured and elegant. Um, not too structured, but having that element of linen already brings a relaxed type of feel to a more structured type of short. And I think that looks so well in these pictures and I am very excited to wear it like this sometime in the future. And then lastly is wearing a beautiful top um, with the Birkenstocks and having those two almost as the feature, not really adding um, too much attention to the legs um, part of your look, um, but really having those two shine separately. I think um, the blouse that I'm wearing today with it pays beautifully well, but again, I would go for a colorful shirt, maybe something even a bit bolder, maybe a blonde print or a pattern um, with these um, Birkenstocks could look very cool and almost in a bit um, artsy even in a way. I'd love to know, do you own Birkenstocks? Do you think they're still the ugliest shoes ever? Or um, are you maybe thinking now, oh, hmm, I might get a pair. Um, I would recommend trying out um, outfits, um, trying them on and having a look at Pinterest, for example, and see what type of outfit is similar to the ones that you like to wear and how they've styled it with the Birkenstocks. That way, when buying it, you'll have a bit more security in knowing that it will work with your personal style. Thank you so much for watching today. If you'd like to see more videos from myself, please hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Um, that way you will also be notified every single time I upload. Thank you, bye.